Maybe before there wasn't so much dirt. Now that there's nobody here, you know, nobody comes, nobody does nothing around here. But look at the size of it. I can already tell, guys, that this is where definitely a tribe lives. What I told y'all that looked like a little cave. That's the entrance to the main cave there. It's about 150. It's really interesting how all along there's holes. There's hollow spots where you could go in there. Look, like right there, right there. But first, we're gonna go check this cave out. Good morning, guys. Today, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're in the Sierra. We're about to go check out this cave with some amazing crystals, the Dragon's Cave. And as always, we're with Oscar from Explore y Detecta. What up, yo? Jos. Saludos, amigos. Mundo Perdido MX. Mundo Perdido MX. Y David. Trepaceros por naturaleza. Let's go check it out, guys. Let's go see how amazing this adventure is. Look, guys, and this is our trail today. Heading towards that cave. It's really slippery. So you gotta be careful on where you step at. But the path is clear. I can already hear. Yup, there's the... <laughs> we almost fell there. That's what I mean by it's really slippery. But look, here's a river. Nice. Yeah, it actually has some water. It's not dry. Look at that, guys. Yep, look. Crystal clear water, guys. And look, again. Some walls. Jose was telling me that there's some walls where actually hikers come up here and do their little climbing and stuff and look at that guys that looks like it was built by by somebody it's not original the formation of the rocks look let's see it's cold water or warm water this looks pretty good Look, there's some fishes up in there. I imagine in areas they are a lot deeper and have a lot more water in. That there's a lot, there's fishes that are a lot bigger. So guys, walking uh, along this riverbed. By the way, earlier if I sounded weird, I'm sorry, but I just had my my ears were plugged up. I wasn't able to hear properly. But look, as we were walking along this river bed, oh look, there's a crab. There's a river crab. Look, guys, I don't think y'all are gonna be able to see it. Ya viste el cangrejito? Aquí, aquí derechito está un cangrejito. Right here, look, on that rock. Oh, ya lo vi. That's walking around here. We seen that hole. I think Oscar seen it first and David was asking if that was a cave. It looks kind of dark. So look at David. David's going up there. He's going to go check it out and see if it's actually a deep cave. If it is, we'll go in there in a minute. And if it's not, then we'll just keep on making our way to the to the main cave. This cave, it's a pre-Hispanic pre cave where... Uh, old tribe used to live at and on top of that the beauty of it well let's keep making our way guys I feel like I know I told y'all uh, we're in the middle of nowhere but we're right in the middle of Colima and the ends of Jalisco over here by Cocula 
honestly it's really beautiful out here guys to see a clean clean river like this it's rare I mean there's a few but not too many and if it has crabs if it has fish you definitely know that it's clean water guys I need to cross to the other side because that's where the path is Right now that I think about it, this river actually reminds me of of Turner Falls right there in Oklahoma. It's a place we used to go to a lot. And I remember as well that right there in the river, there was a lot of crawfish. Interesting detail, guys. Earlier when we were coming down from the road, and we got to the river. There was uh, some guy that lives around this areas. And he, was, he had a, a cow on the rope, I guess taking it to to a place where he, another place. <laughs> and he was telling Jose, this cave where we're going, it's actually a bandit's cave. He said that back in the days, and it's a story that we hear a lot, that back in the days when it was the era of the Cristera, of the revolutionary, all that, that bandits used to use this cave to hide their treasure, all of that. Look guys, Jose is telling me that we're getting to the cave and I think I see it. Earlier he was saying that there was a lot, but a lot of bats in there. We have our mask because it smells a lot like guano in there. But I'm hoping not to scream, guys. <laughs> Y'all know how me and bats get along. Let's go check it out and look, guys. It looks really beautiful. I did bring swimming trunks, so I don't know. I might just jump in there for a little while. It really is too hot out here right now. Look guys, we're on the other side of the fence right there where I'm pointing my finger. That's where the cave is. And when I'm seeing the, what the guy was telling us, I'm starting to believe it. And also, well, like I told you, I was up in Hispanic uh, civilization area where tribes used to actually live in there. And all on the rooftop, you see a bunch of black, uh, I don't know the correct name for it or the term for it. But when you burn something and then the ceiling it starts turning black, that's what it looks like in there, guys. And what does that mean? That there was actually people that either lived there or used it as a hideout. And they would instead be burning and burning and burning wood in there, you know, to have light, to keep warm. But, yeah, it's a lovely place. And look, it looks like an area where people come because, look. Right here, you get four rocks. In the middle, you put your wood. And you got a fire to start cooking out some steaks, fish, you name it. But yeah, it's, it's really interesting how all along there's holes. There's hollow spots where you could go in there. Look, like right there, right there. But first... We're gonna go check this cave out. Okie doke. Look guys, making our way over here to this cave. I know y'all see the water is running, but it's not much water, right? But when you get to here, guys, let me pause for a little bit. I don't know if you are able to see those bubbles. Let me... I hope you are able to see them guys, but that's actually water that's coming from underground. It's a, it's a natural born hole where water is born and it just keeps going into the river, guys. But look, it really does look amazing. Let me try to get a little bit closer.
And we're on the other side, guys. Look at that, it looks amazing. Right away when you get here, guys. That looks really, really lovely. I hear David already up in there. Oscar's right here. But look at the size of it. I can already tell, guys, that this is where definitely a tribe lives. And why? Simply, you got natural born water right there, guys. All you have to do is go out, hunt your food, and it really does look amazing, guys. Let's get a lot closer, and we'll show y'all in a minute. All right, guys, so Oscar's already in there admiring that beauty. We're over here chilling out on the rock. What's up, guys? <laughs> and just relaxing, enjoying the sound of the river. And just trying to think of all the things that could have happened in this cave. Whether it was in the pre-Hispanic era, the revolution area. Wow, guys. Amazing, look at this. Oh, and there's a hole that looks like it goes that way. I see Jose over there. Let's keep going up. See if we see any rocks that have been worked on or the walls have any drawings. Wow, it's a oh my goodness, guys, look at the size of this! Wow, this is amazing. Imagine this, guys, a whole tribe living here. I'm sure y'all can imagine it. Besides that. In the area of the bandits, imagine that. Yeah, I could definitely see, see that. And look, this is what I was talking about, fire, guys. And this is what I'm talking about, about the black on the, on the ceiling. And it's all over. Look, if I'm not mistaken, those, those hooks from the walls is for from climbers. From people that actually climb, if I'm not mistaken, from the bottom all the way to the top that like to do rock climbing. This is amazing, guys. It actually looks extraordinary. Over there by where Jose is, you can see like there's a miniature cave over there and over there as well, guys. Look. Let's go find a place to leave our backpacks and get everything and show y'all this. But look, right where Oscar is, if I'm not mistaken, that's for rock climbing, right, brother? Yeah, see, he's telling me that's for rock climbing. So people actually come up here and they climb these rocks. Wow, look, guys. It's just amazing. And how big it is. Let's go up here where Oscar was. There's David. Hi, David. Hi. Look, guys. In a minute, we'll try to make our way up there, but you can see that there's like a little tunnel going that way as well. But yeah, imagine having your civilization here, guys, and you being the the one in charge of the tribe you sit up here where I'm at and you're just having a big reunion a big ceremonial reunion amazing well let's get ready and let's go into this cave well guys what I told y'all that looked like a little cave that's the entrance to the main cave there it's about 150 200 meters deep in there Right there where Jose's at, that's where we're about to go. In a minute when we come out, we'll show you all these little beautiful places. But, let's make our way in there guys. And yeah, we're well prepared this time. Face max, lamp. Let's go check it out guys. 
Oscar, let me borrow one of his flashlights right now. So we'll have better lighting. But oh my goodness, look guys. Look how huge this looks. I don't think I'm gonna need my Mac just yet. But wow, it is really deep. Oh, look guys, if I'm not mistaken, this is where now yeah let me put my mask on if i'm not mistaken this is the cave where jose told me there's several crystals in here and look guys you fit in here walk standing buckle yeah jose's telling me that it feels hot and yeah it does feel a little bit hot but look guys all these areas. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, you can definitely believe it was a bandits area and on top of that back back in the pre Hispanic area. This is where they would live. This was like their dorm. Wow, look at the crystals over here guys. Look at this. Oh, this hold on let me look like this that's really amazing all these crystals look really beautiful guys and look this this vein is just quartz I imagine okay, even on the ground guys that's truly amazing and beautiful. All right. And there's some areas where you get down a little bit. But look. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Look. It goes that way. Maybe before there wasn't so much dirt. Now that there's nobody here. You know, nobody comes, nobody does nothing around here. It's full of dirt from the dust. Look at this dirt. It's moved around, so I'm sure people have came with like metal detectors to explore and see what they find in here, just well, just like we're doing right now. But we love to show y'all this, guys. Look at this, guys. Somebody broke a piece of that. And they took that rock. Look. A lot of crystal on it. Ooh. Uh, am I going to get down and dirty today? Nah, it looks too narrow. It's not even worth risking. Look, Jose's over there. Look. Look, guys. This is amazing. I think all the white right here. It's crystals and minerals. And look, here's a hole where somebody dug up. Like we told y'all, that person that Jose seen, he says, look, there goes them bats. But the person said that there's treasures hidden in here. That still people haven't found stuff. There's some people that have found some stuff, but it's not all. There's still lots of lots of things right here to be found. But look, guys, amazing. I go to that, and I could just hear the hovering of the wings, the wings from the bats. What is that cooking oil doing here? Somebody made a fire. Okay, I see what they, they would do. If I'm not mistaken, with that cooking oil, you put it on this stick and light it up, and it's like a torch to have lighting. Wow, this is truly amazing, guys. It's pretty huge. I did not think it was gonna be this big. Wow, look. Hun 
hundreds and hundreds of bats. And the cave just keeps going. Look more holes, guys, from people digging up. It makes you think, did they find something? Look, this is one of these, I imagine. Somebody ate some ramen noodles in here. <laughs> I don't think that's too healthy. I got my mask on, so there's a pan. Look at all this wano, guys. I don't know how far it goes that way, but look. Oh, yeah. And the smell of wano is really strong if I take the mask off. There's hundreds and hundreds of bats. Ooh, that one almost crashed into me. Continua mucho? Look at that, guys. Hundreds. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even going to point. Look, the whole wall is covered with bats. See? So, miles. There's hundreds and hundreds. ¿Y qué tan profundo va para acá? Todavía queda otro pedacito. ¿Qué dale? Mira, dime de con tu lámpara, está bien potente, ¿sabes? Poco, poco. Está maravillosa. Mira. So we're continuing in this cave to this side. But I'm ready. <laughs> dale. Jose's a bit scared, just like I am of bats, guys. But one thing that I've learned from David is that if you if you just keep going oh that one almost crashed into me if you just keep going guys then it just keeps going dale dale todavía hay que darle más let's keep going Jose says that last time this is where they got to let's see okay Let's, get, let's go see over here where Jose is telling me that yep, it just gets to here. Look. Yep, it just gets to there. Uh, doesn't keep going that way. Alright, let's keep going to the back part, guys. But y'all see the amount of bats in here. It's, it's immense, look. And they're all on that wall. Yeah. But why do they do this? Because we're right here bothering their natural habitat, waking them up. Oh, bat just crashed into me, into my back. Wow, that's beautiful, guys. Y yeah, para ese hoyo no lo checaron? Este hoyo. Right above me there's a bunch of bats, guys. Oh. But I'm tempted to see if there's a hole that keeps going. But no. It just gets to here. Well, not really. Here, a bunch of bats guys just hovering over me. But what I'm trying to see is if it keeps going, but no, it doesn't, guys. It just gets to here. Wow, that is amazing, guys. Imagine just the the stories we don't know about this place, guys. It's really amazing. Look, guys. There's hundreds and hundreds of bats in here. Hey, I know how much we love them. But like I was saying, guys, imagine the stories that we don't know about this place. How many pre-Hispanic families lived here? How many tribes? How long did they live here for? 
on top of that getting a little bit further up ahead imagining the revolution era you know the bandits the hideouts the treasures everything guys beauty underneath earth some amazing crystals guys and that's all over this wall but what I'm trying to see is there if we see it oh bat just scared me if we see any drawings on the walls but look I don't know why but I feel like it's just loud or I don't know because look I don't know if y'all see these lines but look there's lines everywhere right there well <laughs> Look at the size of this cave, guys. I'm really amazed. I'm proud of myself this time because, as y'all see, <laughs> I didn't scream. I'm not too scared of the bats this time. I feel like little by little, I'm getting used to it, guys. Look, another one just flew right by me. So, yeah, guys. Imagine also, if anybody found a treasure, imagine just finding the chest full of gold coins. Or just simply like, I don't know, something, something old, even if it's not valuable, just the story behind it, guys. Ah, it's truly amazing, guys. Let's get out of here so David and Oscar can come check this place out. But look at all these crystals, guys. Lovely and amazing. I'm... I'm amazed by the size of this cave. The hole looks so small that I was like, nope. But look, it is. <sighs> if anybody knows the type of crystal or quartz this is, let me know. I'm trying to see if there's a piece on the ground so I could take. But I don't see any, and on top of that, everything on the ground is covered with wano. Well, uh, man, imagine this, guys. Look, what's behind me? Truly amazing. Nice cave, Jose. Let's make our way out, guys. And let the boys come in here. All right, guys, so there goes David. He's about to go in there. And Oscar as well. Look, the entrance, I mean, you crawl a little bit, not that much, but it's comfortable. It's not like other caves that we've been to that it's really narrow and it's hard to get in there. Look, Oscar's really tall and he should have no problem going in there. I told David, you definitely got to take the metal detector in there. And why? Well, y'all seen the holes. Y'all seen the dirt that was moved around. And on top of that, the stories around here, guys. Let me keep showing y'all around this cave from the outside. See what else we see interesting and we find. Like, I definitely want to go check that out. Maybe climb to the top. Yeah, I put my gloves on because there's a bunch of wano everywhere. Go check that out as well. And the hole that is up here, guys. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll get up there. Well, let's go see what's on this side, guys. Let's climb up here. Ugh. Look, this looks like it was carved out, guys. Let me get the light on. in there and then man, I'm gonna be a curious George and I'm gonna take these rocks out of there who knows I might just find something look guys this is another small little cave but it's very small look at the formation on the rocks like when I see rocks like this, sometimes I think people do this intentionally. 
to cover something up. But who knows? Maybe that's just my crazy mind. But yeah, guys. It's not too deep. Let's go up here. See what's up there. I have to make this jump. Give me a second, guys. There's a few more bats up there. Look, there's a bunch of them, baby bats. Hey there, bat. Let's go to the other section. Let's go to the other part. Let's see what else we see. And we're on the other side again, guys. Like I told y'all, we got to check that hole out. I have not... I have not um, taken them rocks out that I told y'all. I'm trying to explore right here outside the cave for a little bit. See what else I'm able to see. More mineral. Doesn't look like it keeps going. Let's see. <clears throat> nah, it just gets to there. But look, we found more mineral, more crystals up here. I'm seeing right here, I could get up there. Let's see. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was better than trying to climb up there. Now we're exploring the cave, but going up. That just flew. Right near me. And again, it just gets to here. Doesn't get any further. Let's see. Nah, this is as far as we're gonna be able to get. Yeah. Y'all know how we are, guys. Y'all know like. I don't know how we like to adventure. We'll be going into some crazy places. Seeing what else we can find. Seeing what else we can see. And show ya. Look, somebody has been here. Saw these rocks. Somebody placed them there. That's it for sure. that way but there's no way that I can get through here and it just gets to there so it's not even worth it but yeah guys imagine being a bandit and you're sitting out right here on the lookout making sure that nobody comes through that path to disturb anybody in there wow yeah I can just imagine it guys I'm telling you, and I don't feel this like it's just here in Mexico, but I feel like everywhere, everywhere, all over the world, there's a bunch of stories that are not known or told, but me, I can only imagine, guys, amazing. I'm still here, guys, sitting, meditating.
honestly, I don't know why I got really, really relaxed when it came, when it got to the point right here where I told you that it was like a lookout place and just the birds. I don't know if y'all can hear them, but my view to the river look. All right, guys. Well, that's it from this amazing cave. Honestly, it was pretty big in there. Lots of bats. And I'm still amazed by the size of this cave and inside that cave. You can, I guess you can call it the cave within the cave. All right, guys. Let's keep going. See what else we, we see. But I think maybe this will be it. We'll probably just explore a little bit around here. See if we're able to find any other caves. And I'll let y'all know. Alright guys, so after coming out that cave, at the end of the day, we are going to go in here and see how deep it is. Let's see if it's cold. Ah, oh, now it feels really good. <sighs> oh man, it is cold. <sighs> Alright, let's go guys. What up, Oscar? What up, host? What up, David? Yeah, I can't touch it. I gotta be floating. Feels ah, really good, guys. Look. Really fresh. I think we're gonna be here for about a good 30 minutes, 20. Let me pass my camera out there and let me swim a little bit. Or let me show you a little bit. Eh? No, estoy flotando. Mira, ahí estoy, pero estoy de de puntita. my tiptoes right here guys Whew. it's been a long time since I've been in the river my wife she's from Manzanillo and when we go visit I usually go into the river <laughs> got water in my ear there we go and here comes David Come on, David. Let me go past my camera, guys, so I can keep swimming. Hey, guys, well, we're back dressed and exploring around here. And look, I don't know if y'all can see. If y'all can see it properly, but the dirt is moving down there. And little bubbles are coming up as well. It's another hole where, or another little pond where the water's born. And right there, them little rocks are just constantly and constantly moving. Pretty amazing. Let's keep exploring the area. Alright guys, well we came across this cave right here the skull cave i don't know if y'all can see it but it looks like a skull right here's the nose oscar just went in through there if you can see the light and let's go on this side let's go check it out see how deep it is it makes a turn <laughs> 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 and look guys, Oscar just scared the living hell out of me. It looks like it keeps going up there, but no way to get up there. But look at this. It goes this way. Let's see how far it goes. It keeps going. Let's go see. Looks really narrow right there. But 
it just gets to right here. Yep. You can't go anymore. Okay, it's not that deep. Let's keep going back. Alright guys, let's go into this side. Look, that's the part that it looks like a nose. This one looks a lot smaller. Let's see how far it goes. Look, this one looks really weird. But let's go look at guys. Looks really narrow. Let's go check this cave out. <clears throat> Stick holding something up. What is that stick doing there? That's weird. But it goes this way. This part, I guess. You gotta go in like this sideways. to there. Well, let's go see. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it keeps going. I don't know. How uh, far? But there's no way that I can get through that small piece. Alright guys, let's make our way back. There's a lot of dust in here. This one looks really weird. Guys, we got down and dirty on that one. It was a lot more narrow, but it did not continue. Let's see what else we find around here, guys. Maybe we just jump through there, so let's try it as well. Is it true? Yeah, the stuff is on this side. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be it from this exploration. In a minute, I'll say bye to everybody. Alright guys, there's the cave. We're out of here. That was a pretty nice cave. The other cave we found as well, guys. The area, very beautiful. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And we're out of here, guys. Till next time. Oscar. Jose. And David. Till next time, guys. We're out of here. Peace.